Hello, Yeladim. Now that your work is completed, all we have to do is share with our teachers. A wonderful thing that Google Slides allow us, and that's true to all the Google tools, is to share it with others and let them view it and let them add to it if necessary or leave comments. So assuming you have finished your favorite animal page, you now I want to share it with myself and with your class teacher. The way to do it is you go to that very bright yellow share button. And at the moment, the only one who have access to your document is yourself, but you want to share it. So we're going to click on it and this pop-up window comes up and here you can enter a name or an email address. If you pop in your teacher's name, let's say you Miss Wrangle class, say, if you type AR, it's very likely that her name will pop up and the same with Mrs. Chayat. And you know, then the email goes by the first letter of the first name followed by a surname. So if I type the AC name pops up and the same with me. Okay. And the name pops up. You can leave them a little note, for example, have a look at my favorite animal page. I am really proud of it. Have a great day. Great day, regards, and your name. You don't have to put that little message, but it's nice because when your teachers receive the notification by email that you have shared something with them, they will also get it with a little message. And you click send. That's it. You can see now, if you notice before, there was just one person, and now there's a few more. And when you hover about it, it says shared with two people. The reason why I don't see my name is because I shared it with myself. Okay. And if you're not sure, you can always click on it again. And you can see down here, it says shared with Amy Chide and Alex Reingold. Done. That's it. Thank you very much. And you can go ahead now and create your own special project to share with your family.